Today, I'm going to tell you all about the event I attended where Princess Cruises announced the new name of their newest ship. And I'm going to give you all the details about this new ship. Princess says it's going to make some big waves in the industry. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a splendid day and if you're new here, welcome. So last Thursday, September 15th, I attended a big event put on by Princess Cruise Lines. This was a really nice event in Port Everglades and the purpose of the event was to give everyone a sneak peek of their newest ship and also to reveal the new name. Turns out it wasn't a new name, but it's a good name. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little rundown of the event. And P.S. there were some TV stars there and also one well-known YouTube creator. And then I'm going to get into the details about this new ship. Princess says it's going to be exciting and new. Before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up if you like cruising videos. And I'd also like to invite you to join my traveling party. I put out new videos all the time. And if you would subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. So let's just start at the beginning. Why was I invited to this event? Is it because of my massive YouTube following? No, I was invited mainly because I am friends with the wife of the president of Princess Cruise Lines. Now, how did that happen? Well, I stalked them for a while. No, I'm totally kidding. She and I met at my gym. We hit it off right away. And then eventually um, she and her husband and me and my husband started hanging out and we became good friends. And they are just awesome, awesome people. And yes, they do know that I have this YouTube channel, so I think that they gave me an invite to help me out a little bit. But this event was great. They had food, they had drinks, they had a violin band that played Michael Jackson, things like that. It was fun and it was fantastic. And there were a couple TV personalities you might know. Randy from Say Yes to the Dress was there. He is affiliated with Princess Cruise Lines and he gave a lot of information about all the design elements and all the wow factors of the new ship. And Jeff Corwin was also there. You may know him from Animal Planet and he is a conservationist and he was there to talk about Princess Cruise's commitment to sustainability and some exciting features about the new ship. And although I did not know it, the ship life was there. And if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you know that I am a big fan of the ship life. I did a reaction video to one of his videos, 10 Things I Hated About the Scarlet Lady. And he and I have become acquainted that way. But I've always been a big fan of his. He put out a video about the event and that's how I found out that he was there. So unfortunately, I missed meeting him, but maybe next time. For the event, they gave us these really cool lanyards, and this one has my name on it right here, which is very cool, so we got to wear these. They had kind of a cocktail hour, then they had a presentation where everyone gave details about the new ship, and then they did the name reveal, and it was very cool because when they revealed the name, this big balloon came out with an acrobat attached to it. It was like a hot air balloon. And that's when everybody learned that the new ship will be called the Sun Princess. Yes, thanks so much, JP. Josh, I gotta pass it over to you and CEO. Please do us the honors. Uh, it will be my pleasure. I'm very proud to introduce the first ship in our Sphere class, next generation, Sun Princess. This is the third princess ship with that name. Uh, the other two are no longer in use. Another reason I was invited is because I am a member of the Junior Welfare Society, and this is a volunteer organization that does some great work around Broward County. And Princess Cruises was kind enough to donate $10,000 to our volunteer organization, and that was really, really kind of them. So let's jump into the details about the ship. The Sun Princess is the largest princess ship ever constructed. It can accommodate 4,300 guests and it will have 2,150 cabins. It's also the first princess ship to be powered by liquefied natural gas, which is very good for the environment. The Sun Princess is the first ship to be in what Princess Cruises calls the Sphere class, and it will have 21 decks. And two of the standout features of this ship are the Piazza and the Dome. The Piazza is going to be three stories and it's going to offer guests comfortable seating with ocean views in every direction. 
And then there's the dome, which just sounds very cool. Let me go ahead and read you the description of the dome from Princess Cruises. It says, inspired by the terraces of Santorini, the dome is a multi-level covered deck and first of its kind true glass enclosed dome ever constructed on a cruise ship. During the day, the dome features an indoor outdoor pool and it's a comfortable place to relax. At night, the pool becomes a stage and the dome completely transforms into an entertainment venue with a South Beach vibe, state-of-the-art lighting effects, and stunning entertainment. From what they told us at the reveal, this is going to include some aerial performances. I'm excited. Princess says the decor is going to be lighter and brighter, and there's also a new class of suite accommodations. This new level is called the Signature Collection. In addition to premium stateroom amenities when you stay in this class, you are going to have access to some exclusive areas. These include the Signature Restaurant, the Signature Lounge, and the Signature Sun Deck. The Sun Princess will have more balconies than any other princess ship. And I thought this was very cool. Princess says that all balcony staterooms will have an in-room sofa. The Sun Princess will also feature the Signature Sky Suite, which will be the largest stateroom on any princess ship. This suite will be over 1,200 square feet. I couldn't find any renderings of it online, but I did find renderings of the other stateroom category. So let's take a look at those. So that's all the information I have so far on the Sky Princess. Are you excited about it? Is this something that you would consider sailing on? Leave me a comment and let me know. By the way, the Sky Princess will be in operation in 2024. I believe it's going to the Mediterranean that summer and then it will be here in Fort Lauderdale. Of course, when I was at the event, I got something for you guys. They gave everyone these t-shirts that are actually very soft. And on the front, it says princess. And on the back, it says, here comes the sun princess. This is a men's medium. And then they also gave us these commemorative medallions. If you know about Princess Cruise Line, they have the medallions, which can do all kinds of things on the ship. And this is a commemorative one. And it says sun princess, September 15th, 2022. So I'm going to be giving both of these away to one of you. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, reside in the United States because I have to pay for shipping, and leave a comment below. Just put the word princess and I will enter you into the drawing. And one more very exciting thing before we go. I have been invited along with my husband to go to the Los Angeles Hollywood premiere of The Real Love Boat, which was just so nice and so generous of them. So of course, I'm going, and that will be on October 1st. I believe The Real Love Boat will premiere on October 5th on CBS, but I will be at the red carpet event. Well, actually, it's a blue carpet for Princess. Of course, I'll do a video on this so I can give you all the details, and I'll let you know if I learn anything more about The Sun Princess or the Real Love Boat TV show. If you would like to talk travel with me a bit longer, I will link a couple videos at the end. Until next time, I hope you have safe and happy travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.